My heart is racing so much. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. I'd be sick. My name is Brett, and this is my wife, Jade. Together, we set a goal to sail around the world. We went minimalist and drastically downsized. We played hard and worked even harder. We saved everything we could, gained a wealth of experience, a deep love of the ocean, and two adventure dogs. It took a while, but we just found our dream boat and just the way we wanted it, wrecked. Subscribe and join us as we put her back together and set off on our greatest expedition yet. Eight in the morning. We have three hours till we need to launch our boat. It's all planned and all scheduled. Hopefully we'll be able to get everything done that we need to. And our engine starts. That's right now that's the biggest concern is that the engine start. I am so nervous. My stomach is like just because there's so much to do today. Alright, Captain, what's the first on the to-do list? I brought a plethora of Large sockets for fuel. Plethora. Plethora. And I got lucky. I brought the right one. Perfect. Perfect. Just wanted to check this belt. It looks great. It's a V belt. This runs the pump and the alternator. I am super thrilled about the access. Brett and I have a history of buying broken cars. Brett would fix them and we'd sell them, right? But I have the little hands and the little fingers, so my job was always to stick my arm up in the most uncomfortable, difficult, hard to get place. Being able to see, oh, I can just reach the back of the engine like this. I appreciate this. We're low on light, so where'd I put it? Brett, I lost it. Oh, hey, thanks. What's what I'm here for? I'm gonna put some new batteries in this one. You know what, I could also open curtains. That's also an option. I'm gonna start with that. Our fuel water separator is great. Just checking everything else out. Got our turbocharger, which, I don't know, pluses and minuses, I guess, of having a turbo on this. The engine oil is perfect. It's been changed. It probably got changed before it got uh, stored for the winter. So we don't have to worry about the oil. Uh, it's full, it's good. My little spring fell out, so let's put that back in. We'll check the gearbox oil and check the batteries and see what happens, I guess. Yay! All right, next task is to find the impeller for the raw water intake. I don't know that it's where I think it is, and I don't want to start taking bolts off that don't need to come off. All right. Cool. I found, I thought it was that possibly. It's not. It's definitely back in there and not accessible really at all. I don't know, it feels like maybe a 10 millimeter nut, maybe eight. And so I gotta figure out how to get to the back side of that. Hey Jade. <laughs> I need little hands. Uh, I actually might later. Okay. We'll see. All right. Yeah, right. She has a camera holder. All right, here we go. Um, Oh, we can. Beautiful. All right. Let's light this place up. Uh, no, but I can go grab some. Will you? Yeah. Okay, here's lights for you. <gasps> really? Yeah. I got light. Awesome. That looks brand new. Hands. Hands. Hey. Hands. <laughs> we haven't decided yet if we want to go ahead and put the floorboards down. Uh, for safety to be able to walk around while we're motoring, but we also need to be able to keep an eye on the bilge to see how much water we're gonna take on. As far as I can tell, the engine's good. It's time to hook up all the batteries. I'm just gonna hook them all up so we can kind of see what's working, what's not, and go from there. It has the battery monitor up there, but I wanted to check each battery individually. 12.5, that's plenty. That should start it, no problem. We're golden. Our engine batteries are connected and they're all checked and good. So, next project. Have you done the through holes? Uh, I've checked some of them. You want to check the ones right there? Checking the seacocks. You're able to turn it all the way off. Yeah. Okay. So, and there are three. Let's 
a bathroom. Let's see if we can find three. I'm gonna try this again with the light. I can't shoot a light on there. I got one here. Here's two. Okay, here's one. It was hiding. I just couldn't see it next to the bucket. We're still rocking. I think it's just little stuff now. Fuel's good. Engine, I think, is good. Batteries are good. That's all there is, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel stupid. I, like, was racking my brain trying to get power to come out here, and I could not get it, and then finally I found the stupid switch in there that says navigation. We gotta check our radios. And... Is it on? It's so dirty. I can't see the screen. Let's see. <laughs> hey, okay, it sounds like on. there's power to it. This might be the wrong radio, so we are gonna go look for other radios on the boat. Yeah. Success! Checking off all the little items here. We just found this in here. Handy little quick reference navigation rules. It'll be good review for us because it's been a few months since we've been on the water. And we've never really been around such big boats. We have about 30 minutes. We're kind of freaking out. We've checked everything off of the checklist. We're just feeling nervous. This is our first our first launch in this boat. This is just sitting here. This is our boom. We're just going to find some spare dock lines and just tie it down to be a little extra secure to make sure we don't lose it while we're moving. Okay, I'm not gonna do that with one hand. Just kidding. Okay, get this put inside. Got like 10 minutes, they're gonna be here very soon. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna clean up like camera bags, anything that's on these tables, and get ready to have some motion down here. All right, we've got a big truck <laughs> coming for us. I am just moving this van, our rental van. So they can pull the trailer back. I'm surprised, I thought they were gonna put us up in slings because we got a big boat, but uh, it's just a trailer. So I mean, that's cool. But van was in the way. Here we go. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I know they'll do a great job, but I'm a little. It's our boat now. I don't want anything to happen to it. <laughs> Percent of our weight right now is on our keel that isn't connected to our boat very well. I'm terrified. Uh -huh. I'm terrified. This is crazy. This is uh, I don't know words. Hi. Hi, baby. Good to meet you. We're putting our boat in the water. What do you think of that? I'm, as they say, bricks. <laughs> and our boat just pukes. Yeah, they'll put us in the water and uh, we'll make sure the engine works. Oh, my God. Oh, sick. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Moment of truth. Yeah, we're running. The engine's running, we're good. We're just getting put the rest of the way into the water. And we'll see what happens. We're fine. Thank you. We're in the water, we're in the water, we're in the water. And we're floating. This is insane. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing so much. I'm gonna go run and set up dock lines and fenders. Why is on fender duty, but these are much bigger fenders. I'm so excited. Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. We did it. That was an ordeal. But look, it's floating. It's in the water. I didn't wreck it. Jay did awesome on the lines from the fenders. She was running around like a mad woman. And I just had to drive slow. I was so stressful. You did great, babe. I was so stressed. Cool. Okay, so we got all tied down now. Um, I had some trouble with one of the dog lines. I couldn't get the loop or anything. It's too tight. We're just like, ooh, my heart is racing. I didn't get the fenders all the way down, so then I had to reset them while we were almost to the dock. And we were coming in into head-on traffic, and that the bridge started to open. There's like these huge barges, so I, I had to rush, get all the fenders down. But we made it. We got it in time. 
and uh, the boat floats. Holy crap, holy crap, that was scary. I don't know. With our last boat, I guess just because it was like a smaller boat that we intentionally got cheap just to learn on, it was never so scary or stressful coming in. And this boat's hella huge. It's big. So we just gotta, we just gotta get used to it as all. Well. Like we just have to adjust to our new boat and figure out all of the ins and outs of the new boat. And I think, I think we did a great job. So on the way here, the bow thruster wasn't working. So I want to see if we can get it going. So it'd be nice to have, you just watch. Yeah, I'll watch. Okay guys, we're watching. I don't see anything. I did all my reading about everything to make sure we can get the engine to run and it worked. But now I can't get it to not run. <laughs> I'm hitting, so I turned off and hitting a stop button and it's dieseling. And that's what that, that's what that sound is called. It's basically just not stopping. Uh, well, any other ideas? Yeah, Things I'll go, to try? I'll go try the manual off. Okay. Sounds beautiful. Really Perfect. <laughs> the engine runs really well. Hey. And now it doesn't run really well as well. Hopefully it still runs great. Well, it just it's not off. running right now. <laughs> okay. So that might be something to look into. <laughs> hey, Brett. Hey. Three deep breaths. <sighs> yeah, so. We did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there is water in here. Oh shoot, there's a lot of water. No, no, not a lot. Um, splish splash. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Stop splashing my boat. Your boat. Our boat. All right, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> so there's definitely water coming in. Definitely. Um, hey, the bilge needs to wash. I ran the bilge. And it works. The bilge pump and it emptied it out. So I'm not concerned about sinking. That's okay. my point. Is it'll be fine overnight. But yes, there's definitely water coming in. So we have a leak. What's... Trying to figure the Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, see, I was thinking Stop of... Stop holes in my ship. I was thinking of Claudia with a chance of meatballs. Yeah, never seen Oh, well, now that you specify. There's a leak in my boat. Buckle up back there. We're going into hyper. Yeah, I give it The last owner left these awesome gloves. And I'm going to use them to pick up the fiberglass buttons. Yeah, I so picked up from, the buttons they're and apparently the they're fiberglass. So. Oh, nice. Good job, guys. Dog bones. We have a good power boat now. Look at this thing. We can't put a mast up. We can't sail. But we got a good engine. And we can motor Close around. Up. I died in it. Almost stepped on the battens, but I, I didn't. All right. And I wanted everybody to witness this with me. We have our first waterfront window view. Brett! I don't know, I'm just freaking out inside I'm, now. I'm freaking out inside and outside. <laughs> what are you looking for? The AC voltage isn't working. Maybe I need to have both of them hooked up for it to work. But I, mean, I guess I can just go try that. Hey. that ends. We got power? Got power. Woo! We got power. And I'm moving the battens onto the bed Thank so you. nobody will step on them and break them. Uh, but actually, I'm going to get those awesome gloves again because I don't want stickers like Brett. You believe it? We did it. We did it. We did it's it. ours. It. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. I can't believe it. You did great. So did you. We're gonna go get some food. This morning we didn't have breakfast. We were too stressed. Today has been a huge day for us. It's the first time we've had the boat in the water. First time we've turned on the engine. First time we've docked it. Today was a day of first. Somebody first. We crushed it. Yeah, I think we did great. It went really well. It was just it like it couldn't have gone much better. It honestly. couldn't have. Yeah. It it was just like docking. Our old boat just twice the size. Just, massive. just a lot larger. More running back and forth for me. But we figured things out. And I even figured out how to hold the camera on the dash with my foot so that the camera's not so close to my face. So, oh no, today's I mean, just such a blur already. Just the guy pounding on the side of the boat, like asking for ready. Like, yeah, sure. As ready as we're gonna be. He asked if we had started the engine. Like, eh, not exactly, but I think it'll run. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> uh...
we made it to the place, to the auction place to get our sales. Masked up. Safety. Check out this massive sale bag. Oh my goodness. Oh, awesome. We got sales. I am so beyond impressed and surprised by how great this company has been. Absolutely. Totally agree. I was super worried we were going to get scammed. Agreed. That's honestly the big reason why I came to see the boat. Yes, well, to, to make, make sure, sure it was, was a real like, boat. actually a real boat. They've been so helpful all along the way. Like the sales, the guy actually went and got them and brought them to this office because he knew we were going to be in this area. And I don't know, just everything. They've just been really great, very kind, very helpful. So, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're grateful. Made it back to our hotel. And now we just need to pack up the rest of our life and put it in the car and head back to the boat. All right, I just filled up a water bottle. I think we're gonna make it. We have to drive almost an hour to get back to the other marina and West Marine, get all the things we need to get. I hate touching things. I think now we check every box that we need to legally sell. Got the wagon. I've gotten myself stuck on a steep hill with the wagon. Try backing down the trailer this time. It's been one crazy week. In the last 48 hours, I've seen our new boat for the first time. And now we're moving in. All of our stuff. And Brett's calling me, I think. What, babe? Saying something. I, I could... No, you're totally fine. Looked at the clock, it's 5.30. All the rental car places close at 6. And we have to get a second rental car. Otherwise, we have to get an Uber tomorrow. We're trying to social distance a lot. So having the rental car will mean we don't have to sit in a car with a stranger to come back and get this rental car. Rental car number two. Well, I'll follow you back to the boatyard, yeah? Uh, why? Can you put up the bin in here? Okay. This Dodger is perfect. It's exactly what we would have got if we had it custom made, I think. It's really nice. This is good stuff. Today is one of those days that feels like three or four days all in one day. We did yeah. so much. Launching the boat was today. That was today. That was a couple it weeks was, ago. Was, yeah. <laughs> a Ridiculous. Lot, oh, a lot has happened. Tomorrow's another big day. Lots to do, lots to come in the coming videos. So if you haven't subscribed, Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you hopefully on the heart next week. about to pass through the seawall. This has been like protected bay. Out there is open ocean. That's terrifying. Here we go. Jade, what? any idea where the light switch is? The light switch? Yeah. No, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>